Hi there, this is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer, with another book review. In this video, we're going back to Hamish Macbeth. This is book five in the series. It's called Death of a Hussy. I did enjoy this book, even though it's a very slow start to get to the murder. So I think out of the five books in this series so far that are reviewed for this channel, this book has the slowest start and it draws out quite a lot. I think too much, in my opinion. I wish it was a bit of a shorter start to get to that murder. But what it does introduces the characters and the new characters quite well. So you get a good picture of those characters before the murder happens. But unfortunately, a lot of time to get to that murder in the book. And if this was your first read in the series, it might make you want to drop off and not finish it. At the start of this book, Hamish isn't at his home village. They've closed down the police station and he's been moved to Strathbane. The people in the village aren't happy about it. They want the local plod back on the beat. They're trying to devise a way to get him back. A new person in the village, Maggie Baird, comes up with the idea. They're going to create a fake crime wave happening in the village to get attention back on them and get the focus back on getting a local policeman back on the beat. They want Hamish back and they're willing to do anything to get him back. We find out also at the start that Maggie has her niece Alison staying with her and Alison is recovering from having cancer. She had lung cancer, so she's getting over that and she's very timid in this book. She hasn't got a lot of courage and she's not treated very well by her aunt. She was at the start, but then her aunt snipes at her all the time and yells at her and you know, calls her names a lot and just mistreats her a bit. And we see Alison's um, courage and her confidence just being carved away as the book goes on at the start of this book. Hamish does return to the village, and not long after that, there's a death. People think it's an accident at the start, but he suspects murder even if nobody else does. And the victim is Maggie Baird, the new person in the village. She was a bit of a man-eater in her history. She'd go after men with money, get money off them, get them to buy her things, pay for her bills, her rent, you know, that sort of thing, and then leave them for someone else who may be richer or more interesting. And that happened all the time through her younger years. And she was able to invest that money and she got enough of a nest egg where she could you know, buy a house in the village. Before she dies, she invites four men she knew from previous days to the house because she wants to marry one of them. And the idea she has is she's going to marry one of them and write her niece out of the will. So after her death and after it is deemed a murder, not an accident, we have five suspects straight away. The four men that were staying with her in her house and also her niece. Other suspects pop up here and there at different times. Some are written off quickly. Um, so there's a whole range of suspects in this book. But with this plot, I felt that the victim... Maggie Baird, reminded me a lot of the victim in the previous book, Book 4. That was Death of a Perfect Wife. And that victim as well in Book 4 was a woman who um, was very flamboyant, um, very vocal, got a lot of people offside in the village, just like the victim in Book 5, the book we're talking about now. So there's a lot of similarities between those two victims. I don't know if that was a deliberate thing that MC Beaton did, or if it's just accidental, or maybe it was just a bit of lazy writing. She wasn't sure how to create the victim for this book and made someone similar to book four. There's a shock twist at the end of this book. I'm not going to go into detail of what that is, but it does change a lot of the village, a lot of the way things operate in the village in future books. It's a very important twist in this series, and it's one of the reasons why you should read this series from the start and go through in order, because it's things like the twist at the end of this book that are uh, key drivers in changes in the series and if you just chop and change and jump forward and back or start somewhere in the book that's not book one you may miss out on important things like this and some of the relationships between characters and what the characters do won't make as much sense another thing in this plot is that Blair's taken off the case and we have another inspector called Donati coming in he doesn't mistreat Hamish the same way that Blair does. And Hamish starts to resent the fact that Donati's there and not Blair. He starts to think that the reason he gets a 
be in his bonnet and uh, a drive to solve these murders is because of Blair trying to push him off the case. You find that he wants Blair back in the picture. And I found that strange because when Blair's there, there's that tension between them both and he doesn't like Blair. But when Blair's away, he misses him. And it's Blair's attitude that drives Hamish to solve these crimes. I thought that was interesting in this book. Maggie Baird, who's our victim, she's loud, abrasive, flamboyant, colourful, doesn't care what she says to people, says what she wants, doesn't care about the consequences, mistreats her niece Alison all the time, snipes at her a lot, says very hurtful things, then suddenly she'll be kind to her and gives her, give her a hug and tell her she loves her. So in a way, it's almost like she's bipolar, but with more highs than lows. Confusing character sometimes, Mrs. Baird was. Very self-centered, very self-focused. And I guess that's the reason why she's the victim. Because when someone like that in these type of books dies, there's a lot of suspects. Alison, who's Maggie's niece, bit of a pushover as a character, very meek, very quiet, not a lot of confidence, and she seems to be scared of a lot of things, scared to try to make it on her own, and that makes her a suspect after the murder as well, because people think that she killed her aunt for the inheritance. The only negative thing I'd say about this character is that it seems to fall into the trap, I think, that happens in this series every now and then, is we have characters who swoon over somebody if they have a, give them a compliment or are kind to them, or even smile at them sometimes. And, you know, are people like that in real life, you know, to that degree? I'm not really sure. But in this series, it does happen from time to time. Mrs. Todd, who is the housekeeper for Maggie Baird, and then Alison, after Maggie is killed. Mrs. Todd's an eccentric character, so she's from the village. I like the way she kind of arcs up at Hamish a bit at times. You know, she doesn't mind yelling at Hamish, or calling Hamish this and that in the book. And it's all because of the way Hamish treated her after her husband died. She feels mistreated by Hamish, and we get a bit of a dialogue between them both, and we find out that history as the book goes on. You get the impression in this book that Mrs. Todd is very earthy, very real, very grounded, and she doesn't abide fools at all. You get that impression as well. And she doesn't mind speaking her mind, and letting people know how she feels. And it made for a very interesting character in this book. I did enjoy this book. I didn't enjoy it as much as previous books in the series. So out of the five I've reviewed so far on this channel, I think it's one of the weaker ones. I rated it a 3.5 out of five. I thought the characters were still well done. I just think it dragged on a bit before it got to the murder. Introduction could have been a lot shorter in my opinion. I did enjoy the twist at the end. As I've read these before, I know what happens in the next books after that twist, but it does drive really key things in the series. And I think it's an important twist because it just changes things in the village a bit. And I think sometimes in these series, you need something that's gonna change things a bit in the village, in the structure of where this is set. As I reread all the books in this series, I'll do a review on each one and put it up on my channel. If you don't want to miss out on the reviews of Hamish Macbeth, check out my channel and subscribe. Also, I have a cozy mystery playlist on my channel. It should be on your screen now.